Time for the nine at nine. Here we go. It's number nine. It's a bit chilly today, so why not try the old toad in the hole? <laughs> Ooh, it's a beloved dish in England, and it sticks to the ribs. You pour a mixture of flour, egg, and milk into a hot pan of cooked sausages. And if you're not worried about all the calories, you'll have uh, fried those sausages in fat. Uh, and if you're worried, you're probably not making this dish anyway. So take the whole mixture and bake it until it's not, until it's hot and puffy and crispy. It is best served with mashed potatoes and gravy, because why not? Tomorrow I'll tell you about the spotted dick, which is a great Another British great meal also. British yeah. Meal. So that's tomorrow. Uh -huh. Right. Just what the people are asking for, recipes yeah. from England. Yeah. <laughs> and number eight, you uh, ever heard of a fairy circle? It's oh, what yeah. people have called these circular patches of land where nothing seems to grow. It happens in uh, Southern Africa. And traditionally, Bushmen told the tales of the circles being created by spirits and ascribed supernatural powers to them. But a new study out of Australia finds that the truth is less exciting. There are actually microbes living in the soil that makes the dirt in certain areas harsh for seedlings. And these grasses start as mounds, and as they sprout outward, the plants in the middle die. And that's where the ring comes from. Well, that's what they say. Right. Why believe scientists when you can right. believe in fairies? <laughs> You've got a better story. <laughs> All right, number seven, Caroline Manzo from The Real Housewives in New Jersey has been doing this forever, and she's not Whoa. alone. It's called dermaplaning. What? What's going on here? When you take a very gentle, blunt scalpel and scrape it along the surface of your face, and it's a good idea to use if you don't like retinol or other acids. It exfoliates and removes thin hairs and the outermost layer of skin. Is it a, just a razor? It looks like it. looks like it. Eyebrow razors, and you just scrape your face to get rid of hair? Oh. Dermatologists say it's a way to achieve smoother, brighter skin. They don't recommend this for women with skin conditions or severe acne, but if it's good enough for Caroline from The Real Housewives oh, yeah. of New Jersey. <laughs> she's great. I miss her on that show. Me too. Never been the same. It has not been the same since Caroline which left. One, which show was she on again? Real Housewives yeah. of New Jersey. She oh, was the matriarch, been, yeah. and it has yeah. not been the same. You yeah. know that. Mess. Anyway. All right, number six, a woman in Poland called police to report a strange animal in her tree. She couldn't identify what it was, only that it was menacing. She thought for sure it was an iguana or a bird of prey. She yeah. said neighbors were terrified and afraid to open their doors or windows. So the Krakow Animal Welfare Society sent someone out. It wasn't an iguana, it wasn't a bird, it was... Yes. Yes. A croissant. Oh. Nice oh. pronunciation. That uh, was. That, croissant. That was really good. Wow. Thank you. Well, somebody's got to culture yeah. this place up a yeah. little bit. Officials think someone tossed it up there to feed the bird or the squirrels. Uh, they removed the croissant and assured the woman it would not harm her. How big was it? She thought or it was a else. bird of prey? Huh. <laughs> well, you know a croissant's about that big. Yeah. Wonder if Eve St. Laurent threw it up there. <laughs> it's a croissant, okay? Read along, peons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number five. Just like here in Chicago, some mom and pop stores in New York City having cats hanging around inside. And there's a cool Twitter account where you can check them out. It's called Bodega Cats. And if you're a cat lover like Larry, you'll marvel at the dignity, poise, and mischievousness of these lovely little kitties, and it's hours and hours of fun. <laughs> mm. That's great. Mm. A lot of whimsy the cats bring to your life. Nothing better than a cat in a grocery store. <laughs> yeah. Curl it up Said with the that food. For years. Yeah. Number four, it was only a matter of time before someone combined two of our favorite hobbies, exercise cycles and gaming. This is the Play Pulse One. It's an exercise bike that turns your body into a human game controller. Hmm. You use specific motions while on the bike to operate the video games. It's 1100 bucks. the monthly subscription of $19.95 a month, and you can pre-order it now. 
So do you just ride the bike while you play the game, or is the, the pedaling generate the... Is that part of the game? Yeah, I yeah. think it's unclear. Just, I think that's what he just... No, I think you just read... Did he just <laughs> he say just that? He read that. <laughs> yeah, you're... But, but the thing is, a lot of hardcore gamers have been clamoring. Oh, yeah. they've been yeah. saying, yeah. if only... <laughs> if only I could get off this if sofa. If only I could get off this sofa and exercise. Yeah. 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 So right. that's good. Right. Exactly. All right, number three. This is called the Thank God Ledge. It's in Yosemite National Park, 2,000 feet up on the Half Dome Hike. And it got that name from rock climbers who come upon it and see that there's a place to rest. And thank God, it's a strip of about 40 feet of granite that protrudes. The picture of the guy in red is pretty famous. That's, uh, oh, you ever see this documentary that Alex Honnold, he's the, yeah. the free climber, he's the one who, uh, Free solo. Did you ever see that no, one? No, I couldn't. I think it would give me a heart attack. Oh, my lord. Uh, he climbs without ropes. Oh. He climbs like it's a flat granite ledge that's, mm -hmm. oh I don't know how many hundreds or thousands yeah. of feet up, but wow. uh, there are a lot of everyday climbers who go on the ledge safely. You got to watch that documentary. I can't. He lives, so, I mean, it's going to be yeah. fine. A lot of other people didn't, but he does, Yeah. so uh. it'll be fine. I feel like you know it would it would inspire me to want That's to do it. that, and you I just I, I don't have the time. Yeah, I don't have the time. Yeah. All right, number two, is it okay to eat sprouted potatoes? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, Most it people is. know that a peeler has a tool at the end to cut out the sprouts. I yeah. didn't know that. Oh yeah. But look carefully. If the potato has any green on it or it feels soft, that's when you get rid of it. I guess mm. the sprouts are okay, but. <sighs> I don't know. Potatoes should be firm and not squishy or wrinkly. And maybe you're wondering why they sprout in the first place. Well, potatoes don't need dirt to grow. No, they All they don't. need is darkness and moisture. So your kitchen pantry is an ideal place to start growing those little sprouts. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably where all the nutrients are. Mm. Mm. All right, number one, that Matthew McConaughey is really getting some traction in Texas. Here's a good clip from SNL of Jim Carrey playing him in one of those Lincoln commercials. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta go back to actually move forward. And I don't mean go back and reminisce or chase ghosts. I mean, take a big step back. Like go from winning an Oscar to doing a car commercial. <laughs> <laughs> My agent was like, I could understand if you did this right after the Lincoln lawyer. <laughs> that would have made sense. But you don't buy a Lincoln because it makes sense. You do it because you love it, or because you're an Uber driver. <laughs> I feel safe in here to drive around all night long, contemplating the important questions of life. Who am I? Why am I here? When I'm done rolling up this booger, should I <laughs> throw it out the window? Feels good. Like a tiny little tennis ball. Hi there, little fella. Ain't you a vision? <laughs> all those, right, all right, all right. Those commercials still on? Oh, yeah. on. We'll never forget them. Oh, yeah. well, all that's right. it. Nine and nine.